Hey everyone, as you can see I have the PlayStation 4 menu in the background and I'm controlling it with my PS4 controller here. Now what might surprise some of you is that my PlayStation 4 is not connected to this setup here. It's actually sitting downstairs. What most people do is they use a game capture card like this. They've got the PlayStation next to them. They plug it in and then they capture the game using you know, an HDMI cable connected to the game capture card. But I'm not doing that. I'm using Sony's Remote Play feature, which is an app that you can install into your PC or laptop, etc. And you can play your PlayStation remotely. Now, that's good if you want to play your game remotely, but it's also good if you want to record it. Because, as you can see here, in this video, I show you how to do that. And it's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm playing it remotely and I'm recording it. Check out this video from a few days ago, how to record PS4 gameplay with remote play in OBS. And essentially what this video does is show you how I can record my PS4 downstairs to get it like this, where I can sit, play games and record. Now, you might be thinking, oh, where's the audio? Don't worry, the audio was there. I simply muted it so that you can hear me a little bit better at this point. But the audio was there, I just have to uh, mute it. If you're wondering how I was muting it there, all I do is I bring it up there. And that's it. I can mute it. And you can see it there, the PS4 Remote Play app. Now, the other day when I was talking about it, the tutorial does show you exactly what you need to do to set it up. Uh, and, you know, I'm quite pleased with how the tutorial came out. I do show you exactly how you set it up, how you install the app, and how you set up OBS to record it. But what I didn't do was really delve deep into what you can do with the, the settings to make sure that the connection is okay. So what I wanted to do is maybe consider this a stress test, but show you how this can mess up, because I noticed this myself today. So what I'm going to do is go in. Um, you saw Destiny 2 there. What I haven't showed you is that I was actually installing it. I only bought the game recently. I've not played it yet. And what you will notice here is if I resume the download, the the connection isn't going to be as good. So it's preparing to download. Now, what's going to happen and what I saw earlier on was that the quality of the, um, the gameplay here remotely, it starts being affected. It starts flickering the audio starts being affected and eventually the app crashes. Now, at first I wasn't sure what was happening because I was looking at Task Manager and you can even see here, um, if I look at Task Manager here, um, if I bring this over, the CPU is mainly OBS here, same with the RAM, the, it's really the CPU, um, the OBS is using the CPU here and when I don't have OBS recording, I do have OBS recording, um, but when I don't, the GPU was like being used about 10%. It really wasn't pushing my 1080 Ti to use remote play. But when when you do download and when you do something else, well, the footage starts getting a little bit blocky and you can see that there. Now, right now it's actually working okay, but when I had it on just 20, 30 minutes ago, the quality was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Now, I don't know why it's a little bit better now. Maybe because um, I've just started downloading, but... There you go, right on cue, right on cue. So, you might be wondering what the hell is going on. Well, if I uh, jump over to my monitor, you can see here the connection to the PS4 has been lost and suggested actions okay. So, what it does is, if I bring this down, what it does is it brings up this menu here, press options on the controller to start. Now, you can go into the settings and I do want to go into the settings area and show you um, how you can change something there, but... The main thing to take away from this is that it's not PS4 remote, play. you know, it's not PS4 remote play, it's not my uh, graphics card, and it's not my internet connection. What it is, is that the PS4 is downloading a game. And when you're downloading a game, you really can't play remote play well. It just doesn't handle it well. It doesn't handle it well at all. Um, so what you need to do is make sure you aren't downloading any game at all. Make sure you're not downloading any game at all. If you do that, then the gameplay footage should be a lot better. And you can see that now, you know, it's not blocky, it's not crashing, nothing's going on, everything's okay. Now, another thing I want to show you is the settings there, and you saw the settings there um, when it crashed. Now, could you hear it there? I'm not sure if it's coming through there, but the audio was a little bit jerky there. And that's another thing to take into account. Now, what I've got it on just now, I've got it 720p, 
but I've also got it at uh, the high bit rate. Now there's a few other options I can do. I can set up at 1080p and I can bring the bit rate down to standard. This, right now, I think the quality looks good, but I know that if I stress the PS4, you know, it's not being stressed right now, I know if I stress it, it might get a little bit jerky. Now, because I've got that disc in, I'm going to use a game that's just from the hard drive. I'm going to put on Goat Simulator. Now, this should still work okay, but if you're playing a game that's really pushing the PS4, then the PS4 not only has to, you know, generate that game, it has to handle that game, it also has to send it remotely to your PC or your laptop. And that is when your settings do become a factor, whether you set it 720p or 1080p or whatever. Now, as someone who's trying to record footage, this is where you run into a little bit of, of a problem because ideally what you want is high quality gameplay, you want it smooth, you want the best quality possible, and you don't want the recording to be affected in any way. So you want good gameplay, but you want it to be fast. You don't want any juttering or any problems like that. Now, I mentioned this in the tutorial the other day, um, and I'll just turn off, turn off this music for a second. I mentioned this in the tutorial the other day, um, and I said that if you want the best footage, the best footage whatsoever, use a game capture card, you'll get the best video, you'll get the best audio. In my position, well, I don't mind being a little bit lazy, and it saves me from having to bring the PlayStation 4 all the way upstairs. And let's not forget, a lot of people don't have a game capture card. So if you're sitting there without a game capture card, maybe uh, this is the route that you want to go down. So, let's jump over to the monitor. You can see the PlayStation 4 Remote Play app. And what I'm going to do is close it down. Then I'm going to start it back up again. And, as you know, I pointed this out in the tutorial the other day, but I do have... The controller connected to my PC. If you want to do it wirelessly, you have to do it using an adapter, which you can buy. Um, okay, so these are the settings that I have just now. So what I found earlier, and it, it probably wasn't coming up there, it wasn't coming up and really showing you what was happening there, but what I found earlier was that when it was okay, the quality was good, I still got every now and then it was a little bit jittery, and that gave me a little bit of concern because if I was playing a game and it was like that, then the quality, you know, it could go bad. If I'm playing an online game, if I'm online playing a first-person shooter like Call of Duty or whatever, then I wouldn't want that to happen. But what you can do is drop the frame rate down to standard. Now, you can see here as well that I can drop the resolution down to 540 or 360, and I can put it up to 1080p. But what I would say is go through and check your settings. You might find it 720p at high might work better than, you know, 1080p. Um, at standard, but you probably did see that setting there. When you change it to 1080p, it says it's available for CUH 7000 series PS4 only, which I assume is the PS4 Pro. Um, but for me, what I'm going to drop it down to is 720p and standard. Now, again, this comes down to the fact that you do want the best footage possible. You want to record the best gameplay. Um, when I switch to there, you can see it's there. Now, I think that the quality, you can maybe tell a little bit, I'll put this, the audio back on. Um, you can maybe tell the audio is, uh, the, the, the footage is maybe not as good. The bit rate has went from high to standard. It's maybe not, it maybe doesn't look as good as before. Um, maybe not. But what, one thing that you want to kind of watch out for is that it's responsive. You want it to be responsive. You still want to play your game. I'm playing this, you know, I'm playing my PS4 through an ultra-wide monitor here, just in a window. Um, I cannot remember the buttons of this game. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But you can see how it actually works quite well. It's quite impressive that, it's quite impressive that this game is, you know, is from the PlayStation 4 downstairs and I'm doing all of this remotely. So, what is the takeaway from this? Well, the takeaway and, you know, what I've kind of found out from trying to set up uh, the gameplay for a stream, I would just, I, I wanted to test some more things before I do a, a live game stream. Um, what to take away is that if you want the best quality, again, get a game capture card. That is the best way to go. It will give you the best uh, quality footage. Um, this is what you do. If you don't have this, then, you, you know, remote play is an option and it's free. But for me, I do have this, but I want to do it remotely. 
So what can run? What can you know cause problems? Installing a game, as you saw there, when you are installing a game, um, and if I go back here, when you are installing a game, it really does push the PlayStation Four. Um, you know, it, it's it's really stressing it out. So I've just started re resuming the download of this game now. And what will happen is, well, you saw what happened last time. It's okay at first, it's okay at first, and then the audio starts going a little bit, and then it will just crash. So what to take away from that is that don't do anything. Don't install any game when you're playing remotely. Install your games before or after. Put it into rest mode and do it overnight if you have to, but don't install your game. Don't download and install the game when you're trying to play remotely. It just doesn't handle it well. It just doesn't have enough power. Maybe a little bit better in a PS4 Pro. I have the standard PS4, but um, it just doesn't handle it well. It really doesn't. Maybe it, is, it looks, seems to be handling it a little bit better this time. Maybe because I've dropped from high to standard, but I still wouldn't advise doing it. Certainly if you're doing it live when you can't go back and change any footage. So, um, I'm going to mute that just now. So, yeah, so if you're installing a game, uploading a game, or doing anything like that, you might run into some problems. Another thing is, you know, if, if 1080p is giving you problems, drop down to 720p, and if 720p high is maybe a little bit jittery, drop down to standard. Now, what I found was that high seems to be okay most of the time, but there was some times where you know, it kind of went a little bit jittery, or it was a little bit unresponsive, or it was, you know, when that kind of blocky way and the audio jumped a little bit. And it's one of those things because if it was only happening every now and then and you're doing a live stream, maybe it's not the end of the world. But if you can drop down to standard and, you know, you know the quality still looks quite good, maybe that's the route to go down. It's maybe not as good quality, but if it avoids crashing, the game crashing, or any kind of problems during a live stream on Twitch or YouTube, maybe that's the route to go down. But, you know, I would say that, for the most part, I would say that the, the PS4 remote app works quite well. And I'm actually surprised it's not crashing now in the background. Maybe that's because I've set it down to standard and I never noticed that before. Um, but yeah, play with the settings. Essentially, the rule is, if you have any problems, start high, but if you've got any problems whatsoever, drop down from 1080p to 720p, drop down from high to standard, but make sure you do some tests and, and, and you play the game and test things out before you go live or even before you record a video. Obviously, when you record a video, you can record it again, you can go back and edit things. When you're live, you don't have that luxury, so if you're going live on Twitch or YouTube, go through, test everything, make sure that everything's okay, make sure that it's all working okay, and you can see even just now how much more blocky it is just because I'm downloading the file, it just doesn't look as good, and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if this crashes soon. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, please look back at my previous tutorial, and please stay tuned, I will play an actual game soon, but I wanted to, you know, give you my thoughts on this and pass on what I've learned so far, so hopefully if there's any you guys out there, they, that are looking to do a game stream to record to YouTube or, or Twitch or, you know, anything like that. Hopefully you guys uh, will find this useful. And, and as I said, even if you have something like this, even if you do have a game capture card, still it's still handy to have this. You know, it saves you moving equipment around. And if you don't have this, well, it's going to save you a lot of money. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, please do leave a comment below. And I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.